Hello everybody and welcome to your 23rd C++ Made Easy HD tutorial. So in this tutorial, or I should get rid of this, okay, um, I'll reread it. So in this tutorial we're going to be learning, uh, we're going to be learning more on pointers and we're going to, we're going to learn a lot of different things with pointers, uh, this tutorial. So first, first and foremost, uh, let's recreate the function right that we had and um there's things that just like we have a, a void function a void type function and that means it has no type we could have a void type uh parameter now i should let you know that the void type parameter has many limitations but um it's it could be using if you just don't know what type you want to put in there or whatever of some sort so anyways the void type uh you could say void like say we have two numbers we could say num1 and we could say void uh, num2 uh, so the thing with void is that because it doesn't have a type then we need to always cast it whenever we need to do something uh, so in this case we have, if we want to change to an integer we'd have to cast it to a, a integer pointer and do this and we'd have to do plus um, integer and num2 but in this case since uh these are uh pointer values then don't forget to put a pointer in front of it or else you're gonna run into an error so if we were to uh make a number okay say num2 and we were to call this function say c out um function first we have to put uh ampersand num ampersand num and just put n line and as you can see we still get the value for like we would in a regular function so most cases you wouldn't need to do that um, but the option is there if you really need to use that option right uh, but most times and none you really won't need to use that option in my opinion okay so now uh, let's get into some more stuff about pointers okay well um we've learned about the reference the ampersand symbol that a reference is the address that a memory is in right and um we can declare a uh, pointer values by doing like ints uh, a value and we can reference it to another variable right uh but uh, we can also do like in and uh, the ampersand and like say for example we have an x and we say that's 10 and we can make another one ampersand y and we can make it equal to uh, x and then if we change y it will change x as well so you might be saying okay why do we need to um why, why do we need to do that uh the reason why we generally use pointers is because there's limitations with this first of all these have to be initialized on the spot so we have to give them a, a initialize right away right second of all what people tend to really really forget is that pointers have their own address in memory right they're just pointing to uh, another address in memory so for example if i make another pointer called uh, say x y okay and it's pointing to the y okay i mean to the x Okay, the X could be at address 1000, right? But XY could be at address 2000, but it's pointing, it's now pointing at the address 1000. So remember, whenever we create a variable type, it is, uh, it creates, a, it uses up space and memory, right? So therefore, uh, this is taking up space and memory, whether uh, you know it or not. When we have a reference, a reference is, is kind of like, it's not taking up any space and memory. It's kind of like a copy it's consuming kind of like the space that it, um that's taking over this variable type and then there's very little flexibility you have with it so in most cases you'll use um pointers in the in this in this sense so now that we've covered that uh let's go to pointers to pointers now this is mainly used in the c language but once you look at multi-dimensional arrays and stuff like that uh they can be useful especially when you're putting them in function parameters Okay, so let's make um, a variable. Uh, let's make that 10. We'll make a pointer called B. And this will be ampersand A. And we'll make a pointer to a pointer. And we'll say ampersand B. Okay, so what is this saying? Okay, uh, that's exactly what it's saying. It's a pointer to another pointer. 
this one is a pointer to a variable and this one is just a regular variable so to do a pointer to a pointer we we put three we put two uh asterisks there letting us know it's a pointer to a pointer so let's look at this right now okay uh let's do uh let's do c out uh a ampersand a ampersand b and let's just uh, print out c and you know what i'll just do n line after each of them so I'm saying B and line and uh, C. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, so now we're getting the addresses that everything is at. And if you notice that the address of C and B are exactly alike, right? So now let us look at let's uh, let's look at the actual value of what's in C. Um, at yeah there we noticed that it is the the same address as the first element and if we were to put two if we were to dereference it then this is what we get we get the actual value that is an a so what is going on here okay uh this is a pointer to a pointer so basically uh b is pointing to a okay so therefore the address of b is equal now pointing to this and the address uh, and the value of b is going to be equal to 10. now c is pointing to this which is pointing to that right so t if we put two asterisks okay so if we if we don't use any asterisks uh then that means the address of it is equal to the address of b right and when we dereference it then we get uh we get the address that the b is pointing to which is a and then when we um dereference both of them then we actually get the value that should be within it which is the the number 10. and i know pointers to pointers can be a tough concept to really grasp but uh you're not going to really use them that much and you might not use them in depth but it's a good it's good to know them um in depth so uh it's good to look into them and and yeah but I'm going to end the tutorial here. I hope you really enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.